of the Realms, number six, written by Jason Aaron Art by Russell Donnerman. So this is the conclusion to this event comic that had tons of tie-ins. And I have to say, this event was pretty satisfying throughout. I enjoyed it. This is one of the better Marvel events I've read in years. You know, it was entertaining throughout for the most part. There was some really cool moments. Uh, it was just a really good time. Let's dive into the story in this final issue and see how it wraps up. So as the issue opens up, Thor is still pinned to the world tree. He uh, sacrificed his left eye for the knowledge to defeat Malachi. And uh, an answer finally comes to him in the form of uh, finding another version of Thor. So he's going to have to find a whole bunch of Thors in order to take Malachi down and end the War of the Realms. Billions of years in the future now, we see future Thor's descendants and they are reading the events of Malachi's campaign on Midgard in some sort of book. The two sisters finally learn of how their grandfather Thor has lost his eye. After reading the part where his grandfather's old allies travel through time, Mr. Fantastic and the Thing emerge from a time portal, and King Thor arrives where he has been expecting this day to happen. So then back in the present day, uh, Thor is explaining the situation to King Thor as they stand in the runes of Asgard. Uh, Thor is recapping uh, these various fights he's had over the course of the Thor series. And uh, we see Thor is starting to resemble King Thor uh, as the two of them are looking closer and more and more alike. Meanwhile, we see that uh, they're sort of starting their plan to gather all these other Thors. We see the young Thor from the 6th century. And he is there and he is ready for battle. And we see Jane Foster, who is now in her female Thor form once again. And all together, they form some sort of team of Thors. <laughs> so back in New York City, Iron Man, Punisher, She-Hulk, Spider-Man, Wolverine, they are fighting all of these Frost Giants. Uh, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Sif, and the Thing confront Lofi, sort of the king of the Frost Giants. And uh, Lofi pulls out the casket of Ancient Winters, which he eats, and it begins to sort of change his powers. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Daredevil, still protected with the Sword of Hofund and wielding it, protected by Hofund's magic, he's fighting with Lofi. Then we jump over to Malachi, and Malachi senses that this team of Thors is approaching. So Malachi sort of augments his uh, various followers with the Venom symbiote and bonds with it. And then the team of Thors arrive, and Malachi uses the Venom symbiote's power to grow wings, and he declares himself the Butcher of Thors. So then back over at that fight with the Frost Giant Lofi, uh, you know, Daredevil's fighting it, and somehow Lofi eats the sword of Hofund, and he swallows it. Now back over to the fight with Thor and Malachite. Uh, Malachite coats Thor's golden hammer with the Venom symbiote, and dubs this uh, hammer the Black Hammer of the Accursed. And Malachite, he tries to impale Jane Foster. Thor goes into some sort of berserker state, throws himself into Malachite, sort of, sort of punching Malachite and the, and the, the hammer. And then there's this god tempest storm that arrives on Earth. It starts to rain, fire and ice. And Thor somehow uses this god tempest to reforge his hammer, Mjolnir. And uh, Thor manages to have Mjolnir back, and he lifts and wields it. And with his hammer finally back with him, uh, Thor starts sort of beating the shit out of Malachi. Meanwhile, as this is happening, Jane Foster notices that her Mjolnir, her hammer, is uh, sort of beginning to self-destruct. It sort of like starts shaking and stuff. And then all of a sudden, Loki manages to cut his way out of his frost giant dad's stomach with Hofund. Because Lofi swallowed the sword earlier, and I guess Loki was still alive in the stomach of his dad here, which he got eaten in issue one of this series. And he was able to grab the sword and cut his way out. Pretty cool moment. Uh, 
Jump back over to this Malachite battle. The younger Thor cuts off Malachite's arms and Thor urges Malachite to surrender. Malachite refuses. He summons these beasts of the great hunt. However, these wild hunt hounds are eyeing Malachite with hunger as they look at him and they begin to sort of dis dismember him. So with the frost giant guys dead and with Malachite sort of out of the picture now, the War of the Realms is now over. Uh, Daredevil mourns the loss of his powers. Uh, Punisher decides to resume his one-man war on crime. Uh, you know, Jerry Duggan is going to have a series continuing on with that. Uh, the Venom symbiote regains its humanoid form, claiming that Malachite's magic got rid of its mental instability as it prepares for an upcoming event involving Carnage in the Venom books. Uh, Jane Foster uh, bids farewell to the other universes, Mjolnir, Hammer, as it starts sort of destructing and crumbles away. Uh, the younger Thor and King Thor bond over their mutual love of beer and the golden age of craft beer they are in. There is peace across the various ten realms, and Odin steps down and makes Thor the new Allfather, and that is how the series ends. Well, there is going to be one epilogue issue as well. So I was a little confused in little parts of the story, like exactly the science and magic that uh, came about as Thor being able to sort of reforge his hammer. But uh, despite some of my confusion aside, I thought it was a really entertaining end to this series. You know, I liked Thor having the new hammer. I liked that Jane Foster uh, in the end sort of lost her female Thor form. So I'm glad that's still going to be over. I liked when Loki had Hofund and cut his way out of his frost giant dad's body. That was really epic. Uh, I like the ending of this series, sort of a happy ending, and, and Thor sort of being the new Allfather. So some really good fan service moments at the end of this series, and a, a really fun event overall. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Really good time.